Hi everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. I'm excited today to talk about the 2022 Yamaha AR195. Uh, this is definitely one of the more popular boats in the line. It's got a lot of power. It's got a supercharged 1800cc engine. Uh, it's got some nice upgrades over the 190 series. So um, let's figure out why this 19-foot boat from Yamaha is so popular. So one of the things I really like about the 19-foot series from Yamaha is that it really does have a, a nice kind of wide bow area similar to a deck boat, but you have a nice deep V similar to a bow rider, so the boat rides really good in a little bit of chop. Um, you know, whereas a traditional deck boat is going to be more of a rougher ride, uh, this boat rides really, really well. Um, and it really has a lot of space in it, not only in the bow, but as you go into the cockpit and the transom, as we'll see later. Um, another couple things on the 195 series, you know, things like the stainless steel um, rub rail is an upgrade, pop-up stainless steel cleats is an upgrade. So there's several little upgrades that you'll find from the 190 series, um, in addition to the engine having more power, that kind of elevate it to kind of give it that step up. So one of the key features to all Yamaha boats, in particular the 19 foot, is the articulated keel and the rudder system that they have here that allows the boat to track straighter um, and instead of having it kind of slide and move. And then when you're in neutral, uh, you can actually steer the boat a little bit, um, actually have a, a little bit more control over your older traditional jet boat that you would find six or seven years ago. Um, you know, that's a patented technology from Yamaha and it really works and really helps out. Um, as we move up to the transom area, uh, one thing that's really nice about the Yamaha jet boats is this rear area is uh, very, very popular. Um, on the 195 series, we're going to see a nice kind of sea deck style um, uh, padding here, both on the lower level and the upper level of this area. Um, that just gives you a little bit more comfort. For instance, like on the 190 series, this is going to be just a fiberglass piece, and then this will be a little bit different piece, but not quite as nice up here. So the, the flooring is upgraded on the 195 series. Uh, the other thing that I really, really like about um, this layout and design as opposed to having a big outboard, obviously this is all open, you know, there's no propeller or anything, but this is basically at water level or very, you know, just above water level, so it's really easy for people to enter and exit the boat from the water. There is a boarding ladder if you need it. The last thing we're going to talk about in the transom is the clean-out port area, which is a patent for Yamaha boats. Basically, there's this clean-out port area, you just take this plug out really quick and easy. So if you do get weeds sucked up in there, or you feel like the motor's not quite running quite right, you come back here, you lift this mechanism out, and then you usually can kind of get your hands in there, get the weeds from inside the boat, throw them outside, and then it kind of cleans up that area. So that's a patented Yamaha design, and it just makes the boat you know, a lot better than tr the traditional um, you know, jet boats where you literally might have to take the boat, put it up on the trailer to have access to that area. The other thing that we'll notice back here, you can actually run the engine with a Yamaha hose and a special fitting. So you can actually run the engine on a hose without having to climb up inside the boat. That's another little added benefit as a standard feature on the 195s. So as we move inside the cockpit of the 195, this is going to be the exact same size as all the other 19-foot boats. Um, one difference when you go to the SX-195, the SX models will have two bucket captain's chairs where the AR models are going to have uh, this kind of more wakeboard style bench seat where you can actually sit two people sideways on it or have one person sitting backwards. Um, so a little bit more versatility in the seating with this layout. Uh, other couple of features, upgrades, the stereo system is upgraded on this boat compared to the 190 series. The interior um, trim is actually upgraded a little bit, so a little bit nicer interior. Uh, package. Other little things that are included on the 195, you've got the this cushion that actually removes real quick and easy. So if you want to have you know kind of non-skid, easy, don't step on cushions to enter and exit the boat from the transom, you can just remove that cushion and store it away. We also, one of the key upgrades on the 195 series from the 190 series is going to be the supercharged 1800cc SVHO motor from Yamaha. So you know, this boat will get up and run really, really well, um, you know, potentially in the mid to upper 40s, um, you know, maybe even touching 50 on a good day. Uh, so, you know, just generally a little bit more of a water sports engine package on this boat as opposed to the 190 series, particularly if you do a lot of water sports with a big load of people, um, every, you're definitely going to appreciate the extra power you get from the 195. Um, and then the last thing I'll talk about is just, again, just space utilization, different things that you like. Um, I can actually slide over here. There's actually a table mount and a table that you can see in some other pictures that actually mounts right here. That's stored away. We'll see that in a second. And then there's two clips for actually where you can clip a cooler 
Um, so you can actually sit in this seat, have a table up here, and have a cooler up here that's all easily accessible without having to have a bunch of people move in, move around inside the boat. Some table, you know, boats have a nice table right here, but but if people are trying to move around, it's kind of annoying. And, and having the table set up over on this side is kind of nice, where you know they can uh, everybody can still use the boat as normal, and the table is not really in the way of anybody. So the 195 series, the AR195, we've got the wakeboard tower um, set up, which is a standard feature on this model. The SX series is going to have a, just a regular bimini top. We actually do have the bimini top opened up here so you can see what it looks like when it's open. Um, nice heavy duty stainless steel hardware. And it's got like, basically like a tubular construction to it. So it's actually really, really burly and heavy duty. There's actually a lot of connection points to the, uh, to the tower as well with the bimini. So it feels really sturdy compared to just kind of a flimsy bimini that you get on a non-tower boat. Um, another couple upgrades you'll find on the 195 is that we upgraded to more of a kind of a seagrass style flooring rather than just a traditional regular carpet. Uh, and then one other thing I really like about all the 19 foot boats is how much storage this boat has for being a smaller boat. Um, we're going to move and, and look at its three big storage compartments here. We've got the um, port side storage which right now has a cooler in there. Um, that we, I told you that that cooler can slide out. Um, right behind the driver's seat if we want it to. On the port side, or I'm sorry, on the starboard side, nice little cool trash receptacle. There's actually uh, a cushion that fills in the bow that we'll look at in a minute, and the table mount is all right in there and stores away nicely. And then lastly, we do have a ski locker that you can put skis or wakeboards in, you know, really, he you know, burly, heavy duty. Um, right now we've got shipping cover in there, but uh, a nice big storage compartment in the floor. In addition to all underneath all the seats we have, storage as well. So a lot of storage in this 195 Yamaha. So as we move to the dash, obviously this is the captain's um, you know main area and you know I think Yamaha does a great job even on the smaller boat of you know making the dash area big enough that even a bigger guy like myself at 6'2 can you know be easily you know fit everywhere and get in and out pretty easily. But there's a couple of features I'm gonna talk about that are unique to Yamaha. Uh, first is gonna be the cruise assist feature which is more or less an RPM based cruise control that you can control right over here on the right hand side and set that and raise it or lower it um, which normally on a traditional bow rider boat you don't really have any type of cruise control it's not gps oriented it's not as dialed in as like a, a, a real wake boat would be but it does give you an rpm based system that works pretty well um, it has a no wake mode similar to a jet ski where you can just idle through without having to have your hand on the throttle and working the throttle back and forth which is kind of cool um, you know tilt wheel um, it has a, pow a bolster pedestal, so if I wanted to sit up a little higher, obviously my seat slides forward and back. It also spins left to right. Um, nice Jensen stereo system in this boat, um, as well as you know, nice phone holder, which is obviously important these days. You know, USB charger, 12 volt outlet, and then the, the the computer dash, which isn't lit up right now, but that does have rather than your old school traditional like tachometer and speedometer, it's all digital. So. Um, the Connect screen um, works really well on this boat. Uh, it's been around for a few years, and really on, on this being a little bit more of a value-oriented boat to have that newer technology is really cool. Um, you know, so you don't normally find that. Normally, you find kind of older technology in a boat like this at this price point. So, overall, just a well-laid-out dash, nice setup. We talked about the bow area a little earlier, but uh, you know, now that we actually see what what we got here, it's, you know, it's got a couple cool things going on. Um, this one does come as we saw in the storage compartment with a bow filler cushion that fills in this area that's included on the 195. It's an upgrade from the 190. You know, we've got upgraded Polk stereo speakers um, also in the bow. And then, you know, even myself being 6'2", I can still lay out with my seat forward so two bigger guys can actually lay out with their seat forward. Or, you know, this little extra pad here for anybody that, you know, wants to watch a tuba or wakeboard or face backwards. Um, you can definitely sit there a little easier on the 195 to do that. And then you have your non-skid, um, nice step area where you can you know, enter and exit the boat without having to step on uh, bare fiberglass that's gonna be more slippery. So, um, and then of course storage underneath. So again, a really big open usable bow. You can easily set three people up here if you wanted to or two bigger people. So um, again, sp excellent space utilization was why this boat really feels more like a 20 to 21 foot boat as opposed to a 19 because of all the usable space that it has. And that's really because of the more or less a jet ski engine that just doesn't take up that much space back in the cockpit. You can kind of sit on top of it instead of having to sit around it or whatever. So it really, uh, really enhances the, the way that people use the boat and that's why these boats are so popular. 
Thanks for joining us at Buckeye Sports Center today for the 2022 Yamaha Air 195. You know, we appreciate all the feedback from the videos we get from all around the country. Uh, we do a ton of these different videos from 14 different brands, uh, and, and we get a lot of feedback from, from everywhere. Uh, if you like our, or subscribe to our YouTube page, you know, for more information, uh, visit our website, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. And if you're looking at this video, no matter when you're looking at it, uh, we're filming this right after the model year was introduced in August of 2021. But it's so hard to get one of these boats. So if you think you're like, eh, I'll just get one next year. Well, it's possible that your dealer might already be sold out of next year's boat. So, you know, you almost have to think eight to nine to 10 to even 12 months in advance because these boats are so, so popular. Yamaha's doing the best they can to, to build boats, and, but you know, still maintain the quality, but there's just a lot of supply chain issues that are kind of holding you know, a brand like Yamaha back from building more boats, you know, whether it be getting towers or getting windshields or getting other components of the boats, you know, they're a little bit relying on their suppliers. So uh, that's why it's kind of become a very difficult proposition these days to actually get one of these boats. So I encourage you to call your local dealer, get it on order, put a deposit down, and make it happen. Thanks again for watching.